Now, some Anglican bishops have spoken on the theme of the just concluded standing committee meeting, which says abiding in Christ, God's panacea in an unstable world. They made this known in an interview with ACNN correspondent Ogechuku in Lagos State. Abiding in Christ is a discipleship topic that talks about relationship with the Lord. Abiding in Christ is the source of life. It is the source of strength. It is the source of transformation. Because until we become like Christ, we cannot bear fruit. And until we bear fruit, we cannot solve the earth. So it is a message that is timely and challenging. Personally, I've been challenged to remain, no matter the turbulence of the time, to hook on to him, for outside him, there is no hope. It's only in Jesus that we have hope, we have life, and we can overcome whatever that is challenging us. But with this, is a clear on call. It's to sensitize the believers. And even though that I do not believe in Christ before, that there is need for them to abide in Christ. Because without abiding in Christ, we will not be able to do anything. It is only in Him we live, we move, and have our being. Without him, we can do nothing, absolute nothing. So I think it's a clear call for Christians to be more steadfast in this air time and to trust more the Lord in preparation for the great tribulation. I pray the Lord will help the church in the name of Jesus Christ. A Christian who does not abide in Christ is a Christian without strength, is a Christian without foundation, is a Christian without roots. In fact, if they say they believe in Christ and because of that they call themselves Christians, then the next thing to do is to have their foundation and their roots in him. And that is what it means to abide in Christ, in which the word of God becomes the panacea and becomes the antidote and becomes the summary and all that defines their life. It becomes the ethos of their living. So abiding in Christ is an imperative. It's a command. It's something that every child of God must have. And it's not what you do once, it's what you do daily. You abide in him daily. You are until the image of Christ is formed in you and you begin to think like Christ talk like Christ, reason like Christ, and behave like Christ in every facet of your life. The world has become something else, generally speaking. It is only trusting in God, abiding in Christ, that mankind will have salvation, we have freedom, we have liberation. John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 8, where the thing was chosen from, it's most up at this time because Christ said that abide in me and I in you. Without me, you can do nothing. No matter what human beings are doing, both those who trust in God, who believe in Christ, and those who don't, it is good for them to return back to Christ. For that is the only true way in which we can regain our freedom and then God's protection and love. We can to remain paramount in our lives. So for, for the world, the nation and the church at large. The panacea is to abide in Christ.